three, two, one. <laughs> What is up, you two? We are back. I am your host, Paul S. Stuffy Esquire, joined by Jay, his current addiction, Goobles. <laughs> and we're here for an episode of Stuffy Style Network. So uh, this is our first boot episode. First boot episode. So I wanted to put on a working man's jacket, even though these are probably a little higher end. I got a Carhartt on, which shout out to Detroit. Not a lot of people mention Detroit when they mention Carhartt. The Carhartt, Carhartt family still lives here. Still in Detroit. They own a jazz club in the in our area, in the Caribbean of the North. Um, they invest in other businesses in the area, and we've got an, a you know, big store here. There's a big parking garage downtown, and it's all painted Carhartt, so... I don't know why channels don't shout out to Detroit when they, they mention it. I know there some jackets are made other places, but this is actually a American company, just like the Red Wings. Yeah, this is a vintage one, too. This is probably early 90s during that conflict with Sodom and the Iraqis. <laughs> I bought this. Got a flannel on because we're ready to talk boots. So, I mean, these are probably the gateway... Drug of boots. You've sensed these have gone crazy, and we'll have to do more boot videos now that it's yeah. the fall and winter. Uh, but why did you buy these? Like, what were you even going out intending to buy these? Uh, you know what? All right, so I have I've been a guy that have always wear that used to always wear Doc Martens. That's all I wore. Yeah, I still Doc pretty Martin. much. That's my only boot. Doc Martens. Other Doc than Martin. a few uh, other ones, but that's all I ever wore. Yeah. And. Um, I don't know, one day I'm looking down, I'm like, you know what, it'd be cool to get another, you know, pair of non-Doc Martens, let's try some different things out. And I I actually have another pair that I first bought, we'll do a review on later. Thursdays, right? Yeah. Okay. So these weren't quite your first. They weren't my first. But this definitely was a landslide yes. after these. So I got a taste of a Goodyear welted boot, and I'm like, you know what, nice leather, like I love the slimness, and... um. What happened was, I went into the Red Wing store. And With Channel Musician RCW. No, shout actually, out. this was first I went in there by myself oh, to buy okay. a pair of work boots. Okay. Bought a pair, and as I'm walking out, I see these Iron Rangers sitting, like, you know, in their, uh, like, display case or whatever. And I'm like, man, those are some cool looking boots. I'm like, what are those? And the guy's like, oh, Iron Rangers. Uh, they're not really a work boot, more of a casual boot. And I'm like, wow, those are awesome. And our, our friend Ryan, yeah, our RCW, RCW. Oh, we broke. As <laughs> it's been a while since it's we broke a, the. Uh, it's been a while. Ball. RCW was like, oh, I want another pair of black boots. I don't know what to get. I'm like, hey man, let's go out. I'm like, come up, let's go to the Red Wing store, check out these Iron Rangers. I bet you'll love them. And so we went there. He ends up buying a pair. Well, while he's wait, buying, hold on, let's pause there. When did you buy these? Almost a year and a half, right? Oh, yeah. I, I believe know. his a little. We got to bust his shops a little bit. I believe his are still in the box at home. I don't think. Yeah, he's never worn. Them. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. He, he's got a shoe addiction. He does. I have several pairs of shoes that were just his overflow that he bought and decided <laughs> he didn't like. And our other fr uh, friend Q Diggity, I ran into him the other night. Uh, didn't he have a pair? Event, of he had a pair of RCW's dress shoes on <laughs> with his suit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, RCW buys so many shoes that he, don't he doesn't know. know what to do with them. So we go there. He ends up buying a pair. And while I was sitting there, I saw these particular color, which is the Charcoal Rough and Tough. Um, and I said, holy oh, crap. Yeah, charcoal Rough and Tough. I was like, those gray leather. I'm like, that looks awesome. Now, so let's pause there. So you said gray because... You condition these now. They look much darker than... They are much uh, darker. And well, so but, I will pop in a clip of when you first got them and they're unconditioned. Yes. Because they look much darker than that picture. They definitely lighten up with wear. So let's they talk definitely. about care while we're, we're at it. So, you know, I'm a big believer in leather conditioner. 
And uh, I think you should condition right away because you never know how long a boot sat from the factory. That's true. So it helps waterproof it, soften it a little before you wear it. Unless you're weird about the color and you don't want to mess up the color because sometimes conditioning it all can right. change the color. This is, all right, so when I bought these, I asked the guy what he uh, recommended for leather care. And he recommended, like, the Red Wing, they have stuff, but he said it will darken it. And I said, whoa. And then he walked out from behind the counter. He had my exact pair on, and they looked brown. I was like, well, I don't want mine to look like that. And he's like, well, then you're going to have to get a different leather conditioner. So I had always used Cadillac Boot Care. Yeah, that's the one we bought from Chester Boot Ooh. Shop. Another uh, shout yeah. out local crib into the North business. I've used that forever, and that I know that doesn't darken. So I started using that. Now, when you first condition it, oh, get a little dark. And I did just condition these to make them look all nice. Um, they will, but they lighten with wear for sure. You can also use Bic 4, which is another pop, popular uh, boot uh, conditioner. And I've also mentioned on the channel, Saphir Renovatoire. i got to mention the French brands. <laughs> that will definitely darken those. That's so. a high-end <laughs> conditioner. Uh, but that Cadillac one, I actually got compliments the other I, I was subbing for you during bowling. And I walked in in a vintage leather jacket that I had conditioned with Cadillac. Get out of here, right? And this guy walks up to me and he's like, man, he's like, how old is that coat? That's so sweet. I'm like, he's like, obviously it's vintage. I'm like, yeah. Cadillac leather or and then conditioner? Later whatever. that night, I had it on the back of a chair and one of our other uh, people that was subbing on the bowling touched it. He's like, that's so soft. <laughs> and uh, this jacket actually came from RCW's co-worker and it didn't fit RCW. And he... Uh, he couldn't believe how much I had softened it from. It had been sitting in a basement. It was all 70s hardened. And I really brought it back with this Cadillac conditioner. So now that I've gone way off uh, <laughs> topic here. Let's reel them back in. Let's reel it back in and talk about Vibram Souls. This is a well-known sole brand in the industry. Yes, that is their mini lug sole. Um, and it's uh, you know Red Wing stamped, Vibram stamped. Very, very. I've worn those things in the Beautiful winter. Beautiful stitching all the way around. I've worn them in the so winter. I've the worn them. I've worn them playing kickball. With my my little nephew. I've done everything in those. So they're things. more casual. They're more of for you. They're more of your casual. They're boot. my casual boot, but I, I tell just you, consider three quarter. That's and a, then it's nailed. That is a two hundred and seventy. Uh, so it's degree. not quite all the way around. Goodyear sold. welt. Goodyear yeah. welt. Totally resolvable, and then uh, nice nail pattern around the so, heel. A Goodyear welt to boot. The great thing about this is, once this sole wears down, which it will eventually, as long as I keep this leather nice, I will always be able to take it to my local cobbler and get it resold. Yeah. So you take care of again going back to the conditioning, not to beat it beat it in, but take care of your leather uppers. Because your soles are going to wear out faster, yeah. so as long as your uppers in good condition, they can re, yeah. redo it. And this is such this is such nice leather that it'll be so nice and broken in. By the time I'm ready to get these resold, this will be this will fit like a total glove. So I'll and let's be honest, it probably them. will take a long time before you need them resold because you have so many other boots and I shoes. Do. I do wear these very casually. Um, I, this is not something I would wear dressed up, but, you know, blue jeans, playing playing with my niece and nephew, or going to the mall, or anything, I, I could wear these for. Um, and this is a popular design. You'll see a lot of boots copy this, like toe cap. Yeah, a lot of people have this. I think these are, I mean, these are one of the originals, and almost every yeah, Goodyear like welted boot company has one that looks like this. similar. Yeah. Like I said, it's a gateway drug. It's usually where people start when they go down the rabbit hole of luxury boots. And, uh, it 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 kind of is. Um, you know, compared to us coming from Doc Martens, where you're spending a hundred to hundred and thirty. Sometimes you can find them on sale for ninety nine. I mean, these are these are climbing up there. They are. You know, you're taking quite a jump in price, but American made, which I love supporting American made products. They're American made, and like I said, they they will let you take care of these. They will last. They'll outlast you. you. I mean, your 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 family's going to be donating them to the Salvation Army when if, you're gone. If you took care of them enough, yes, that that's absolutely sh true. Um, I love them. I wear them. I, I I I don't know how many boots I have now. I always I lost count, but these are probably the ones I wear the most. 
And I like how it's it's just got four eyelets and then what is that kind of like a the, quick the speed hooks speed they hooks they call it okay yes I you know um, was that an option for the speed hooks is there a version where it's got eyelets all I the don't way believe, I think the Iron Ranger all come oh, like this that's this yeah. is the design of yeah. the Iron Ranger now the Iron Ranger does come in a lot of different leathers if you want a different kind of leather but uh, the three speed hooks I think are always uh, part of it part of it what. Do you know particular kind of leather? Uh, this is a waxed leather uh, or oil tan leather. Oil um, tanned. Okay. Yes, it's got a lot of pull up. Meaning, if you scratch this up, you can a lot of times take your finger and almost rub Work out it the back scratch. In. Okay. Yes. Got a lot of waxes and oils in here um, to help protect it, and uh, I, I think it's great. I think it's a great leather. I love the gray. With the charcoal rough and tough, but like I said, if you don't, our like lighting gray, might not be showing it correctly. There, I got kind of a blue LED going, yeah. and then we got a white light, so I don't know if it's showing the charcoal pattern again. We have a really good picture of when they were first out of the box, because we're so behind on filming. Yeah. You've been wearing, you know, we wanted to do these right away, but you've been wearing them, and it, it wasn't boot season when we were filming a lot uh, back in the summer when we were doing all our yeah. outdoor videos. It was summer. But I, these are boots. If if you're really looking for, say you've been wearing the same thing for the last four or five years, and you want to try something different, try a pair of these. Uh, they're definitely different. You know, you're. This is not a cushion sole. This is leather insole. So if you're not used to wearing a, all leather insole, it takes it takes a minute to break in. Once it breaks in, that leather forms your foot. It it feels fantastic. There's but, nothing like when a boot is finally broken in. Yeah, and comfortable. But uh, you know, how long did it take? Do you think you're to the point that they're broken? They're in? they're pretty broken in now. Uh, I would say it took me a good seven to ten wears to break these in. Okay. But now that they're broken in, I love them. So, are these? Did they replace your Thursdays or not? Cool? Like, well, my Thursdays I wear for something different. Okay. These are so my. We'll talk about that when we do yep. the Thursday. These are definitely my casual, almost go tos for. I almost can wear them for any situation other than. With the sport coat or a suit. Other than that, I could wear these. Yeah. And uh, so normally we, we kind of break up the video and we try a different style where we went right into it. But I forgot an important part of our, our channel, wristwatch check. So G-Shock uh, would go great I have this. not. Yeah, I got the working man's G-Shock with the Carhartt boots. So, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't put the G-Shock on in a long time. I actually had to find it. So uh, that's my wristwatch check today, Casio G-Shock Classic. Uh, and what I, are you wearing? I got a my Christopher Ward limited edition blue. Which check out that video. We did a video on that, uh, and I believe that's your current work watch, right? I I switch between that and my G-Shock. Okay, so it's your alternate work yeah. watch. All so, right. So uh, comment below if you want to see more boots. Uh, Strangely, early on, I did a boot polishing video that was one of our highest rated, you know, until we got some of our, our larger videos that, that, that went uh, for more views, like our watches and things like that. But early on, one of our highest rated videos was buffing with Stuffy. Uh, so I've actually got a pair of uh, Jay Goob's uh, older boots that he no longer uh, likes anymore, and I'm going to try to polish them up and, and uh, see, what we, can see what we can do with them. So. Thanks for watching, fans. Like, share, and subscribe, and stay classy. Rock and roll.